Hello everybody! There's some extra new features in the YouTube video editor that I would like to show you guys today. And so to do that, we need to go to one of our videos and then in our videos, I'm going to find one here and I'm going to go to enhancements. And under enhancements, you will see, I will see, try the new YouTube video editor. It's right down here. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to find a video here. And if you've seen my other video editor uh, video that I did a while ago, a lot of this stuff might look familiar. But I'm going to grab a clip, drag it down into my timeline here. Okay, so I got my video clip down in the timeline. And here's where it gets interesting. First off, we have our tools here. We have the all of our videos. We have closed caption or Creative Commons videos. I said that wrong, Creative Commons videos. We can add photos to our project. We can add music to our project, transitions to our project, and of course, different types of text in our project. However, when you click on the track, you also get some quick fixes, some filters, and some text options. Let's take a look at the quick fixes. Quick fix, auto fix for lighting and color, brightness and contrast, slow motion, you can change the speed, you can rotate, you can do pan and zoom, black and white, and stabilize. You can also preview the effects side by side, and that's what I clicked on. So here we have the original video on the left hand side, and we have the affected video on the right hand side. Let's do a little black and white. And when you click black and white, you can obviously see that the color version is on the left, the black and white version is on the right. Um, and most of these effects have been around a little while, so um, you know there's not really too much else I can, I can go into those. But I do want to talk about one, and that's pan and zoom. Now pan and zoom, usually panning and zooming are camera effects, such as uh, panning would be moving the camera left or right, so the image is moving sideways, left or right. And of course, zooming is you know zooming in, so the image is lar enlarged or zooming out, which means the image would actually get smaller. But when you click pan and zoom, that's all you do. You just click pan and zoom, and you have no other options. So I was confused about this for a while, and then I previewed my pan and zoom video compared to my regular video. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but let's take a look. This video will actually start zooming in. Um, the longer I go in this video, I'll show you. Okay, it's hard to see, but it's, stuff is cut off on the left-hand side. This is the video that has pan and zoom turned on. The original video, the left-hand side has some space, and that's what pan and zoom does. If I go farther in the video, this will be zoomed in even more, and so on and so forth. So I can even go down into the timeline here and preview what I did. So it's it's slowly panning and zooming. It's very hard to see. It's easier to see when you have an image. So why don't we do that? Why don't we add an image here? I'm going to add photos to a project. Let me see. I hopefully I have some photos in here. And oh yeah, I do. My big old mug. I'll take the big old mug and I'm going to bring that into my video. And here it is. So I'm going to drag this down here and put it right in front of this clip. So now you're going to see my big old head, and I'm going to put pan and zoom on this. All right, now let's click play and see what happens. Oh, look at that. My face is zooming in. That's what pan and zoom is. So unfortunately, it doesn't give you any controls as to the speed of the zoom, or I don't really even see any panning going on, so I don't know why it's called pan and zoom. It should just be called zoom. But uh, maybe this will get expanded into more of an advanced feature uh, later on. So, And that's really about it. There isn't any other options other than the filters, which the filters are similar to the enhancement filters. Scroll down and check out those. And then you can add text. And text is very similar to adding text uh, the other way in, in the YouTube editor. You just click Enable Text. You type some text down in here testing and it'll show up on the right hand side you can also change you can have a banner you can change the banner color you can change the banner height and width you can change the color of the text and a lot of other things it's pretty neat 
So that's it. New feature, pan and zoom. Mostly zoom. Uh, but it is an extra feature in the video editor. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, or complaints.